start with the second question. Same like previous question, we have to find all the possible divisors for this number which is 15. So I write the number 15. Divisors means something which comes over here in the denominator, right? So this is 15. Tell me, see, I, as I said, 1 is a divisor for all numbers. So I'll write 1 first, then 2. Yeah, 2 is a divisor ho sakta hai. By dividing 15 by 2, do I get a natural number? That's not possible, right? Because for, uh, for a number uh, to be divided by 2, it should have 2 at the end, right? 2 or any um, even numbers. Is 5 an even number at the end? The, the end number, right? Which is 5 over here. Is it an even number? No. So I can say that 15 cannot be divided by 2. If I divide 15 by 2, I'll get something like 7.5, uh, right? So this is not a natural number. So I can say that this uh, 15 cannot be divided by 2. So 2 is not a divisor for 15. Now 3, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15. Yes, I get 15 and in the table of 3. I can also check it by adding them 2. 5 plus 1. 6 and is 6 divided uh, divisible by uh, 3 3 1s are 3 3 2s are 6 so i can say that this 15 is also divis uh, can be divided by 3 so i have written 3 now let us check for 4 what is the condition for a number uh, for a number when divided by 4 to give a natural number it should have like divisibility in, like we have done in the first exercise wahan so, numbers you have to find the numbers also so tell me, do I have even number at the end? No, I don't have even number at the end. So I can say that this number is not divisible. Uh, 4 cannot be div a divisor for this number 15. So 4 is not a divisor for 15. Now what about 5? 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15. I get 15, means 5 get divided by 15. Are that. So 5 is the divisor for 15. What about 6? For a, for a uh, number, for a number to have divisor as 6, it should have divisor 2 and 3 also. I have 3 but I don't have 2. So for 15, as it does not have divisor 2, divisor 6 can also not come. Divis uh, means if you divide 15 by 6, you won't get a natural number. Because condition kya tha, ki 6 sabhi divisor hoga, jab 2 or 3 uska divisors honge. Yaha pe 3 is a divisor for uh, of 15 but 2 is not the divisor for 15 so i can say that 6, uh, six is also not a divisor for 15 now 7 7 1 is 7 7 2 is 14 i don't get 15 so i'll say 7 is also not the divisor for 15 8 8 1 is 8 8 2 is 16 i don't get 15 so 8 is also not a divisor for 15 9 1 is 9 9 2 is 18 again i don't get 15 so 9 is also not a divisor for 15 Similarly, uh, you should carry on till you come to 15. The maximum number, means the biggest divisor is the number of So, 15 is the divisor for 15. Because 15 by 15, I get 1, which is a natural number. So, I can say that the divisors for 15 are what? 1, 3, 5 and 15. Now, let us start with the third question. In the third question, I have 18. And we have to find all the possible divisors for it. As I already told you that 1 is a divisor for all numbers. So ultimately over here also for 18, 1 is one of the divisors. Now 2. For a number, to, uh, for 2 to be a divisor for any number, it should have even number at the end. So 18 my last number one say 8. Is it an even number? Yes, 8 is the even number. So I can say that 2 is a divisor for 18. Now we will talk about 3. The say divisibility may conditions are test of divisibility. Our year also we will apply the same. 8 plus 1, 9. And is uh, 9 a divisor? Is 9 divisible by 3? 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3 is a 9. Yes, 9 is divisible by 3. So I can say that 18 is also divisible by 3. Same like divisibility I am doing. Over here in divisibility you are given the numbers, right? Over here you are not given the numbers. They are just asking you the divisors. That is the numbers that was given in exercise number 1. 
So over here I have three. Now let us talk about four. For a number to be divisor of four, I should check the first step is to check the last number, whether it is an even number or an odd number. So over here I have eight, which is an even number. अभी ये even number है, इसीलिए मैं दो numbers को देखूँगी. Eighteen. Now tell me, is eighteen divisible by four? No, right? Four four is sixteen. Four five is twenty. I don't get eighteen anywhere. Means eighteen is not divisible. Is not divisible by four. So if eighteen is not divisible by four, four is not a divisor of eighteen. Now five. What is the condition for five to be the divisor? The number should have zero or five at the end. But over here I have eight. I don't have zero or five, right? So I can say that eighteen is not divisible by Five. Now six. For any number to be for six to be the divisor of any number, there is two condition. That is, it should be it should have a divisor two and it should have a divisor three. Eighteen has a divisor two and also the divisor three. So I can say that for eighteen, six is also one of the divisors, right? Now seven. Seven one is a seven. Seven two is a fourteen. Seven three is a twenty one. I don't get eighteen, right? So seven is not the divisor of eighteen. Now eight, eight one is a eight, eight two is a sixteen, eight three is a twenty four. I don't get eighteen. So I can say eight is not the divisor for eighteen. Now nine, nine one is a nine, nine two is a eighteen. Yes, I get eighteen. So I can say that nine is the divisor of eighteen. Or else you can check in another way, like eight plus one, like we were doing in divisibility, right? Eight, sorry, one plus eight. Which gives me nine. Is nine divisible by nine? Yes, nine is divisible by nine. Nine one is nine, right? So I can say that eighteen is also divisible by nine. Okay. Now we have done with nine. Ten. For what is the condition for ten? It should have zero at the end. But I don't have zero at the end, so it is not possible uh, that eighteen is a divisor. Ten is a divisor for eighteen. Eleven. Eight. Eight plus one, eight plus zero gives me what? Eight, and this minus one gives me seven. Seven is not equal to zero, and seven is not also the divis. Uh, it is it is not a divisible by eleven. So this eighteen is not divisible by eleven. It is not even divisible by twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and so on. So eighteen is divisible by the number itself, which is eighteen. So these are the possible divisors for eighteen, which is one, two, three, six, nine, and eighteen itself. One and eighteen means the number itself are fixed. One is a divisor for all, and the number itself is a divisor for all. Just like here, there is one or eighteen. Now let us start with the fourth question. In this question, I have twenty-three. Like previous question, we'll also in this question also we'll find all the possible divisors for this number, which is Twenty-three. As I already told you that one is a divisor for all numbers. So over here also for twenty-three, I have the first divisor which is one. Then we will check for two. For two to be the divisor of any number, the number should have even number at the end. Over here for twenty-three, I have three at the end, which is not an even number, right? So this entire number cannot be div divided by two. So ultimately, two is not a divisor for twenty-three. Now we will check for three. We have already learned in uh, this uh, previous exercise that is exercise number one that divisibility test for three. You have to add this number if the total can be divided by the is divided by three gives you a natural number. Then the entire number will be divisible by three. So twenty-three, three plus two, five. Is five uh, five divided by three gives me a natural number? No, right? So this twenty three cannot be divided by three also. Four, I need an even number, right? So this is not even divided, uh, cannot be divided by four. Five, I need zero or five at the end. But over here I have three, so even this cannot be divided by five. What about six? It needs two and three as a divisor, but I don't have two and three, right? I have just one. So it cannot be divided by six also. Seven one is a seven. Seven two is a fourteen. Seven three is a twenty one. I don't get twenty three. Means it cannot be divided by seven also. Eight one is a eight. Eight two is a sixteen. Eight three is a twenty four. 
I don't get 23, I get 24. So this 23 cannot be divided by 8 also. Means 8 is not a divisor for 23 also. Now 9, 9 1 is 9, 9 2 is 18, 9 2 is 27. I get 27 and not 23. So I can say that 9 is also not the divisor for 23. Remember when it is like that only now you have to just check it out. Means what? I have to check it out. I have to check it out. That is 1 itself, right? A ki number mila jo ki 1 hai. So there are possibilities that the number can be a prime number. We will understand that in detail in, in the next exercise. That is exercise number 3. But for now, prime number are those numbers jin ke sif do uh, ye rahe hai, divisors rahe hai. That is 1 and the number itself. So if you check, keep on checking now, you will find that 23 is the prime number. It doesn't come in any other table mein hai, except one ke table mein and 23 in one table. Mein, because 23 ones are 23, right? So the two uh, divis divisors for 23 is what? 1 and 23 itself. You can check on for 10. 10 it is not possible because for 10 I need 0 over here. But I don't have 0 at the end. I have 3, right? So this 23 cannot be divided by 10 also. It is not even possible for 11. 12 also it is not possible because for 12 also I have a condition that I need even number at the end. And I don't have even number at the end. So it is not divided divided, uh, divided by 12 also. So can you see for 23 there are only two devices which is 1 and 23 itself. Such a number is called as prime number. We will understand that in detail in the next concept prime and composite numbers. And we will solve the exercise number 3 based on prime and composite numbers. Now we will move on to the fifth question, which has 20, uh, which has number 28. Right? First, we have to check the divisors for it, possible divisors. So, for a number, to be a divisor of 2, I need an even number at the end. Do I have even number at the end? Yes, 8 is the even number, right? So, 2. Because I have even number at the end, 2 is the divisor of 28.